I know nothing about an endarterectomy except the word says you're going to cut out the clot. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me what you do with that. So with that, you make a, a incision in the neck, just along the anterior border of your muscle there. The same, same baby incision? A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger a little, than a baby? A little bit bigger. you got to be able to see. Uh -huh. uh, and you find the artery in the neck. And is that easy or hard? Easy. Yeah. Wh easy. Why is it easy? You can feel it. Yeah, it's beaten. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, the heart's Generally, throwing the Generally, if you can't feel it, then uh, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Okay, so you find, you isolate the vessel. You isolate the artery, the, the artery below, and the two branches above, so that you can control all of the blood flow going forward and backward. That way, no no debris goes to the brain, and you can control the bleeding while you're working. And then, when you isolate it, mm -hmm. then what do you do with that blood flow? You have to make an incision in the blood vessel? You clamp the blood vessel so no flow is coming in, uh -huh. above or below, uh -huh. and then you make an incision in the blood vessel, a long incision across, along the whole artery. So when you're doing that, how's the brain getting blood? Does it get it from the other side? That's an interesting question. <laughs> uh, there are multiple ways you can monitor that. Some people will put a shunt, which is a small tubing straw that goes above and below where they're working. Uh -huh. Other people will do the surgery while the patient's awake so that you can monitor their neurologic exam. Wow, so you can do this while somebody's awake? You can. Uh, I don't know if I'd be nervous or not uh, doing that. <laughs> so you make an incision and mm -hmm. then you find the clot, the plaque, mm -hmm. the hardening of the artery, you the do. cholesterol plaque. Mm -hmm. And how do you remove it? You use a little uh, baby spatula looking uh -huh. thing uh -huh. um, and you just peel away the inside lining of the artery. So it peels. Is it easy to peel off? And that's what I thought you did. Uh, it was peel it off. Does it peel easy or does it leave some difficult areas? It depends. There are hard and soft plaques, honestly, but most of the calcified plaques peel off. Uh, and then when they've peeled off, Mm -hmm. uh, you're ready to close up. Do you do anything to the vessel? Why wouldn't you put in a stent then also? Or why do you just remove the plaque and close it up and say, hey, we're ready to go? You remove the plaque and then you've restored the normal diameter of uh -huh. the artery. Uh -huh. And then um, actually we don't just sew it closed. We use a patch of some sort. Uh, to close it so that it's a little bit bigger. You sew a patch around that long incision like you would the elbow of a coat, and that way the artery is actually a little bit bigger than when you started, and it takes, it's on, you know, that decreases your risk of recurrence. The results of endarterectomy, mm -hmm. removal of the clot, mm -hmm. and stent, the results for the patient, good? Very good. How long do they last? Uh, most mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. ha have no recurrence in their lifetime. Now there is a small percent of people who recur either from a reaction to that patch, a bad surgery, or sometimes just from recurrent disease if they continue to do those things that they've always been doing. It must be wonderful to have a patient that's got a problem with narrowing of the carotid artery to be able to fix it where it's fixed for life where they are not going to have problems right there from that. Uh, that must be a great feeling. It, it's a very satisfying surgery. Uh, how do you test to know that if the surgery was good? Do you have to put a dye in there again to see if the flow is, or you just know by feeling blood vessels? If you've done the stent, you do dye at the end. If you've done the endarterectomy, I listen with a Doppler, and then you just tell by neurologic exam if the patient wakes up and is happy and moves everything and yeah. does well, then things have gone well.